CS2, first major, best skins. Are you ready to pick them? Skin Club starts a new season of predictions for the major in Copenhagen. Are you good at CS? Prove it and become the best making the most accurate prediction and win a Dragon Lore. Be a part of Cybersport and watch the major with Skin Club. Good evening. It's that time again. The playoffs of the major. And we are doing the pickems. So let's see first how we did in the first two stage. And I'm not really happy, but you know. We've been a crazy major so, but we have a stacked playoffs. But before we start, you know what I'm talking about. Skin Club website that allows you to do free pickems and then the better you do, the better pool of the prizes you get into. So basically, you know, depending on your points, it's just you're in the silver tier or gold tier or diamond tier. And if you have the, you know, highest amount of points, you get the platinum tier, which gives you the dragon lore. It's completely free. You don't really have to deposit it. You just log in via Steam and you do the, go to the pickems and you just follow the instructions. It's pretty easy. Just drag, drag teams into the squares. And actually, this is like a... Kind of, it's not a square, but it's um, it's rather simple. That's what I want to say. So let's see how we did first in the first stage. You know, we got only four, some crazy results. Apex, both Apex and Saw didn't make it. Simply, Apex got like a pretty good chance. Saw was two zero, and they lost two three. Similar to complexity in the second stage, and Ant, surprisingly didn't make it. Lean Vision got that one win, which kind of you know cemented my failure in the first opening stage so we got four but in the second we did a lot better we have six out of nine predicted correctly and even the vp would be the seventh one if that wasn't that stupid nvidia crash and vp would won that game and then we would have seven out of nine went navi as a 3-0 they kind of disappointed a little bit also they did play well against spirit but Still not 3-0, and Furia was just uh, one of those surprise picks, and it didn't really go through. But 6 out of 9 of nine is pretty, pretty good, I think, overall. And then we have the playoffs. Now we're going to do a preview of this playoff teams in the bracket itself. You see how it goes. We have 8 teams right now. Obviously, quarterfinals are first. The quarterfinals are G2 against mouse navi against eternal fire phase against spirit one of the strongest quarterfinals we have and then of course vitality the hornets against cloud nine the we're gonna go from right to left simply because i think this is there is a lot to talk about with all of these games and i'll start from the from the g2 one we also how g2 qualified against vp yes they had played some good games in the overall but they also played some bad games overall they lost their map pick um they almost lost their map pick against Virtus Pro, uh, which was a very strong map for them and a very weak map lately for VP. And they played it very badly. Overpass was also a 50-50 game based on the, the the result that we saw. G2 had some really good rounds, but the end VP won. But you know what happened? The crash at 11-11, and you know the Nubis was just a steamroll from G2. It is what it is. There in the quarterfinals, they got another chance to get to that. Uh, championship here, but they are playing against Mouse. Mouse is the first team that qualified to the playoffs, and that was very convincingly 3 0, defeating, I believe, Complexity in that final game 13 1, 13 2, which are relatively easy. Jim Hat is the best, best rated player of the whole event with 150 ratings, so it's just crazy how they play right now. I think they're full of confidence. The map pool is going to be on their side. Uh, I think they're a strong favorites against G2 as as uh, these quarterfinals unfolds, but I do think they have a couple of things that are going against them, which is kind of preventing probably, which kind of giving the, the G2 a little bit better odds than they are right now. I think that G that Mouse Force is going to be performing a little bit different on the stage than what they did in the in the studio environment. And obviously, Monesi Factor is still there and Nico Factor are still there. Monesi has been playing unbelievably good this event, I think, for my, my opinion and opinion of many is that he is the best opera by far right now in CS2 and one of the best, if not the best player overall, together with Zywood Donk. Uh, well, Zywood and Donk. So that is the, that are the, those are the strengths and obviously G2 knows how to play in the arenas. They play the 
Katowice, they won the Katowice, they won Cologne, you know, they are, they have a lot of experience in Nico and Hunter as well, and Nexa in that event because he was in the previous iteration of the ma of the lineup, so the experience is on the side definitely of G2, but map pool and the current form is definitely on mouse. Uh, I have to take the logic, I'm gonna, from all the picks that we have here, I'm just gonna use logic and what happened in the, in the previous uh, games and in the opening stage and the games that I watched, I watched pretty much all of them, so my pick for here should be uh, Mouse. So that concludes the number one quarterfinal. Now we have a really, really interesting game here. Eternal Fire, they qualified 3-1, I think they only lost to Cloud9 uh, in the... In, in the in the second stage and then they played a really good counter strike they came all the way from from the first stage and they you know they played a really good counter strike right now uh their players are on fire Santaris is playing really really good bkd as well like Voxic is on and off but overall they have a really solid team they seem to be a very compact team they like playing with each other finally after those years of changing players and like moving them on bench and then back to the team and back on the bench and changing different players and bringing them back so overall now they find the proper recipe My is leading that team but the fatal flaw of this team can be the inexperience on the big events i'll give you the example we had a solid team back in renegades and we were always considered a decent team and first time we stepped into the stage of the big arena in katowice i think it was 2018 or 19 where we played our official uh big match against MIBR, you can definitely feel the nerves there, the mindset a little bit changed, especially when you're the first time, you need to get used to it. On the other side, we have Navi, who has players that have played in, 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 in big events, we have the IGL of Alexi, who played the major finals, who played a lot of big events, JL obviously played the last major pretty good, Wonderful has been on four, but he doesn't have enough big, big games, so Ime obviously pay, played the uh, major finals in Paris and uh, overall they're a team with some experience and I think they're playing very well together I think they're doing very good right now uh, the only the only kind of question mark in that team is Ime but right now you know he should be enough together with this team to defeat Eternal Fire now I'm gonna say this logically again I think if Eternal Fire they do end up playing the same game like they did in the in the group stage, they're going to be the favorites, but I don't think that's going to happen. I think they're going to play a little bit different, simply because it's their first stage game as a team on an event like this. I know from my own experience how it felt for us, and uh, when we played that major quarterfinal back in 2018-19, I, I think it's it's very difficult to kind of absorb everything in so easily. With time, obviously, we, over time, you get used to everything, and everything seems normal to you, and you play better and better, but in, in this case, I'm going to go with Navi, simply because those factors and also now he played well against spirit they took a map and they they just fought really well and uh i think they deserve to be in the quarterfinals i think they are the stronger team right now in the uh, in this game against eternal fire so i'm gonna put them in the in the semis right here next to mouse now phase spirit that's the on paper the strongest and the most competitive uh, matchup of the first round of the playoffs we have spirit the number one contender to win this event they had the most time to prepare for this they didn't have to play extra games like phase did phase played five best of three spirit played three so it's just uh it's just a, a thing that you know that kind of makes a difference overall where your players are not like over burned or over like super tired from from the tournament as well when you play the i used to i was on that spot we used to play a lot of swiss systems back in the day i know how it, difficult it is when you play five games and you go to the to the to the playoffs and then you need to play another uh you know another another best of three another high stake best of three and all these things so it's it's not the easiest thing so and on top of that phase has not been looking good uh, Faze has been having problems, uh, Broke is not performing like he's, he was in CSGO at all, so he's performing on a very different level right now, he's not really usually himself, also we have Rain not on the, on his highest peak right now, let's say it like that, even though he can always be dangerous, he can always pop off, if that happens, Faze will have a chance, and Carrigan on his usual level, he's doing his job as an IGL, but he cannot really help in the fragging department, I think overall he is a better IGL than, than Chopper, but you know that it's not about the who is a better IGL, it's who can you know perform better as well and combine all these aspects and kind of get the win. Experience is on the side of phase no matter what, but we saw that in the Katowice final where phase he didn't have a chance. 
uh, Spirit just, you know, ran through them mostly. So I think it's going to be a similar matchup here because Spirit is playing really good. So I'm going to go with Spirit. And now the fourth, fourth quarter final. I think we have uh, teams that are in a very usual space right now. Uh, Vitality has been the top dog of CS2 and top dog of CSGO at the end of it. And they have been riding the confidence wave, winning everything, but they dropped off ever since they, when they got Messi back, well, not back, but they got Messi in their team. They won one event that was at the end of the 2023, but nothing after. So it kind of, it's a little bit weird for them right now. I don't think some of the players are performing as they thought they would. And, but they got to the quarterfinals, which is more important. And on top of the fact, they have the best player in the world, one of the best players in the world, Zaivu, who can always drop 60 frags in two maps, right? So that's always uh, an advantage. Now, this is a real test for them because last major they won in that ridiculous bracket they had. Now it's a real test to see, like, can they do it again? I think they're going to go in with a lot of experience, with a lot of confidence. You know, okay, we got through this group stage. Uh, we got through this, like, you know problems that we had and we are going into the quarterfinals we have cloud nine who is playing decent decent counter strike like without an op as well i think they went through the ups and downs but they got like the better form coming into this major right they qualified i think three and one if you're three and zero i can't remember right now from the top of my head but they qualified relatively confidently right they're playing decent they have a decent map pool they like playing anubis you know they like to play similar as, as vitality but the disadvantage is in the op right now i think zaiwu is going to have a field day on this one i think he's going to come in feeling good i think spinks is always a big game player and i think apex has enough experience to defeat this good cloud nine team even without but flawed in the sense that they don't have a proper opera who's going to deliver these impact kills and this kind of uncertainty on the maps when you play against him because when you play a good opera when you play a, like a mobile opera like monis is like zaivu is for that matter like it's very dangerous to, to run your own game and cyber will just run around without any kind of counterpart so for me vitality wins this game so these are the, the semis, semi-finalists here. So we have Mouse against Navi. Mouse against Navi is a super interesting game, like a very, very interesting game in terms of map pool. I think if Mouse survives the G2 scare they have in the quarterfinals, they are still going to be in a decent spot. But we saw Mouse, you remember Rio Major, when they kind of collapsed completely in the semis against Heroic, was it? I think something similar might happen as well in the semis against Navi because if Navi beats Eternal Fire, they are going to ride this confidence wave up until the finals. I don't think there is anything that can stop them in the finals with, with, except for one team and that spirit. So the, the thing is like I on this game I would definitely go for Navi simply because of the fact that you know in these big games I think players like wonderful jl they love enjoying they enjoy those type of games high pressure high high stake games and alexi knows how to call these games as well and we see that in the past so i think navi wins this game and goes to the finals now spirit and vitality second semis i think this is the end for the road for vitality simply because spirit is going to get over that hurdle of phase they're going to get initial confidence there donk doesn't really care if it's lan or online stage no stage whatever it is he doesn't care shiro has been there all together chopper is a solid igl zontix is the best support player right now in the whole counter-strike scene and i think they're gonna probably even go 2-0 against vitality because i really don't see a map where vitality can be an opponent right now against spirit maybe in a month or two when the things like when the form drops or whatever it, it happens because usually i would say that stage might be the problem for spirit but i don't think it will be because i saw it in the in in katowice where we all thought like in the quarter semis they're gonna crumble whatever like in the finals you know but it didn't really happen they don't just delivered master class and and the rest of the team as well so for me this is a victory for spirit and then we have spirit and navi in the grand finals again they met in the group stage it was a tight game ish uh at navi navi won that map but other maps were kind of one one-sided and i think it's going to be a similar way i think they're going to run out of juice in in the finals i think spirit is gonna you know just uh, kind of duplicate their victory from uh, from the Katowice event and I think gonna take it so 
for me this should be a, a relatively easy game in the final relatively easy i mean it's still the major final you never know what's going to happen just the logic says that that spirit should be the favorite in this one simply because they got their number they know how to play against navi i think they are just gonna win the whole damn thing i think the strongest match for them and the most difficult match for them because it's going to be phase because phase in the playoffs is going to be uh, playing a little bit better than in the group stage because they like you know they are known for that and if they skip phase and manage to defeat them they're going to go all the way no matter it doesn't really matter who's going to be on the other side so i think this is going to be the, the the bracket playoff picture if 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 i'm kind of making my predictions so guys you let me know what you have and what you have done and make sure again you just log in because everything is free there is no deposits nothing really you need, need to do just make your predictions and you might win some prizes that's it for me guys see you on the next one and let's enjoy some counter-strike in the playoffs